What is going on everybody? Thanks for tuning into another video. Finally gonna get the Goldwing finished and road worthy today. That is the goal. All I need to get done today is flush the brakes and the clutch and then replace the brake pads and it should be ready to go and ride. I'm gonna go ahead and start with replacing the brake pads. This isn't really necessarily gonna be a tutorial, but I'll kind of throw in some tips that'll generally help with replacing brakes and doing all this type of stuff on any type of motorcycle. If you guys aren't subscribed already, I'd really appreciate if you could drop a sub. A lot of you guys watching aren't subscribed. I'm almost 8,000 subscribers. It'd mean a lot to me if we could get there. Also, if this video gets 500 likes, I'll smoke up the tire in the first ride video. It's definitely not easy to do by yourself. Nine hundred pounds. Alrighty, let's go ahead and get started. And like I said, this isn't going to be a um, tutorial video, but I'll kind of just give you guys some tips and tricks as to things that I do that help with doing brakes. See, this is why we're doing this. All this stuff is covered in this oil. I'm gonna have to clean all of that. There we are. So these brakes are actually in good condition. They don't look bad, but I'm still gonna do them just because, like I said, they're covered in oil. That's the reason I'm doing them, not because this off. That's, I like the way they do that design. That's clean. And you can push these push pins through. Sweet. Old brake pads are out. Yeah, see that they just have this buildup of grease on them. And that's what was causing the, um, the front brakes to just be super poor. And then yeah, so like I said, some tips. This is one thing that a lot of people forget is um, leave your old brake pads in and use the old brake pads to push your cylinders back in. That way you don't damage your new brake pads. So you leave the old ones in there and then you take a flathead and you push and pry. So I just went ahead and set some weights on the back of the bike because since it's on the center stand, and then what that does is it gets the front tire off the ground for me. This is definitely one thing. If you have motorcycles, invest in some sockets for your wheels. Like, I believe a 22 and a 27 is usually the sizes for wheels. I'm gonna go ahead and take this side off. This is definitely a beast of a bike to not have the brakes working well on, so. Oh, there we go. Now I should be able to pop them up. I'm curious to see if I'm gonna be able to light up the tire like I did on the Blackbird. Like here, I'll, I'll throw the clip up right here. <laughs> Blackbird could just smoke the tires. Yeah, see if you guys can see that. That fluid on the bottom of the brakes here. It's coming from the leaky forks. So I just gotta make sure I get those. And I'll show you guys my process for braking and brakes as well. Cause there's definitely a process and if you don't do it right, you ruin your new brake pads, so. Crazy how old this bike is, but this technology is like pretty solid. Yeah, you guys, I can see the brake pads are literally wet. So that's why this thing was just not stopping well. And when your bike weighs 900 pounds, you need it to stop well. Alrighty, then before I go ahead and get all that clean and make the whole garage smell like brake cleaner, I'm gonna go ahead and do the clutch. So here's, Goldwing clutches are not easy. Um, I'll show you why here in a second. So. As of right now, the clutch engage is right about there. So you have here to here, that's using the clutch. So I need it to be engaging out here where it should be. And also the fluid's probably so bad, so it probably doesn't hurt to flush it. But so here's what I'm gonna do. So you open up this reservoir and then here's the problem. I'm gonna have to brighten this up in post for you guys to be able to see it, but the bleed valve is in there. 
So I gotta take off this black box and then it's deep in there. But luckily, this is the, um, this is what I use to bleed any hydraulics. It works super well. You take this and you put it over your um, bleed screw and then you can, it'll all catch it in there. That way it's not going everywhere. I do the same thing for brakes. But um, yeah, let's tear into this and see how difficult this is gonna be. Alrighty, first things first, let's open this up. And anytime you're working around stuff like this, it helps to just do something like that. Brake fluid's super corrosive, so it just helps to, you don't want it getting all over your stuff. I like these caps, got a nice touch to them. Cool. And the bladder. Oh yeah, geez. Look at that, it looks like mud. Cool. So when it looks like this, first thing I'll do is just absorb all this out. That way I'm not pushing old fluid through. Geez, there's like mud at the bottom. I've seen some pretty bad ones and this is definitely up there. Like, yeah, look at this. Literally like sludge. But that makes sense why the clutch is engaging super late. It's got all this crap in there. Jeez. Yeah, this is definitely the worst one I've ever seen. But it's also the oldest bike I've ever owned. So it probably goes hand in hand. And also this is just poor maintenance. If you stay on top of it, you're supposed to do brake fluid every like, I think it's two to three years. And this has probably been much longer than that. I don't know why I always find it so satisfying to do brake fluid. Just knowing you have all that old rusty crap out of there and putting in nice fresh fluid. It's like an oil change, but make sure you clean the spyglass really well. That way you can see where your level's at. Alrighty, then I'm gonna do my best to show this to you guys, but we will see. Okay. There we go. So then I have my little eight here, and what I like to do is I run this through that. I know you guys aren't really gonna be able to see this, I'll do my best, but literally I have sweat dripping off my nose. It's like 100 degrees in the garage. Some people beat, bleed it from the banjo bolt. I'm thinking that's what I'm gonna do. This is what we've resulted to. I'm just gonna let it go on the floor, but I put a plastic bag so it won't get on the exhaust. Okay. There you go, that worked. Yep. I'll probably only need to do it like 10 times. It's already so much, but it's engaging there. And it... And we go. And then now I just gotta clean up this little puddle down here. I think that's the way to do it. Let me know if any of you guys that have gold wings know if there's a better way to do that, but that seems to be the way. That's gonna make it ride so much better, having a clutch that works. And then last step is you just make sure this is topped off with fluid and then tighten it down. Good as new. And now you guys can see the clutch gauges. There's a little bit of play, which is perfect. And then it engages. So now you, I should be able to use the clutch with two fingers instead of having to like use my whole hand. All right, sweet. And then uh, now I'm just gonna go ahead and get all of this cleaned up. Yeah, so as you guys can see, here's, here's the problem. See how greasy those are? So the brake pads have a ton of life left, but they were just covered in grease. So that's why it's not gonna work. But um, I'm gonna be using a bunch of brake cleaner and stuff. So I'm gonna turn the fan on and I'll throw you guys on a time-lapse and I'll get all this stuff cleaned up. And then we'll take it out for a test drive and I'll break in the brakes and she'll be good to go. And then tomorrow all we gotta do is the oil change. Alrighty, sweet, everything is back on and clean. Now it's time to get the brakes on. I'm gonna show you guys this side and then I'll just do the other side because it's the same thing. One tip with working on brakes and suspension and anything like that is always make sure to Loctite everything. I Loctite, I Loctited those and I Loctited that was just a blue Loctite, you don't need red, but especially with brakes too because that's a common problem is to have your brakes, have your brakes back out. All right, we'll get one last wipe on this, make sure everything's clean. Sweet, everything looks good. Here's our new brake pads. 
and then these are just going to drop in. It's almost done. I'm just happy the clutch came out really easy. That was one of the things I was worried about if that clutch was gonna be a pain, but it came out really smooth. There we go. I like that design. That's I've done a lot of brakes, and that's definitely a really clean design. I like how they do that. And then I'm also not gonna reinstall the, um, there's a couple little brackets and like covers that Goldwings come with, but I'm just personally not a fan. I'd rather have the brake caliper. I know they probably do it for like, uh, to cover dust and stuff to help keep, keep them last longer on really long road trips and stuff like that. But for what I'm using it for, it doesn't really matter. And I think it looks better just having everything exposed. Yeah, see like this right here is just, there's these little covers that go over the caliper that I just not really a fan of. And then that, the cover for the brake disc as well. Just makes it more like streamlined, I'm sure, but. Alrighty, then I'm gonna go over this side quickly because it's basically the same thing, but you're just gonna wanna pop these off. Front's all good to go now as well. Everything's all tightened up. This side might have, I think the previous owner might have done the brakes too, so I'm just gonna pop this open and see. Because the brake like pressure doesn't feel bad or anything, but if it looks anything like the clutch, it definitely needs to be done. Yep. That definitely needs to be done. Okay, cool. And then for the front brakes, it's much easier because I'm able to use my water bottle. So all I do is I pop that off, put that on right there, and then you just loosen it and it'll all go down into your down into your water bottle there and that's perfect. But yeah, so now I just gotta pump and bleed both front brakes and hold it. And squeeze. No choke cold start and it came right up. We'll see if the clutch is feeling better. That is it for today's video, guys. It brakes feel decent. They don't feel, I mean, I'm used to, last bike was a 2020 with Brembo brakes, so it's not gonna feel anything like that, but they don't feel bad. And um, clutch is way better. Clutch I can actually like, actually engages at the end, so I can use two fingers like a normal bike instead of having to manhandle it with all five fingers. But that is it. Tomorrow will be an oil change and getting all the fairings back on. And then it's time for the first ride. I appreciate you guys tuning into the video and I'll see you in the next one. Yeah, we just kids with a dream to get out. No, we gonna make it one day. I ain't got a doubt. I'm gonna do it for myself. I'm gonna do it for the crew. We don't care about you. We can see right through. Yeah, we just kids with a dream to get out. No, we gonna make it.